watches a scary movie. My name is T, and of course, we're talking scary movies. I appreciate you tuning in for another great movie review. Remember, full episodes of the show go up every Wednesday night. You got the audio-only version, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on all your favorite podcasting platforms. You just got to search Twasm or T Watches a Scary Movie. And you can check the video version out 30 minutes later on YouTube page, which is youtube.com slash C slash Theron Reynolds Scary Movie. But of course, easiest way to stay alerted for when audio versions, video versions, TikToks, written reviews, all that kind of stuff is going up, is to get subscribed to the link tree, which is linktr.ee slash T Scary Movie. If you get subscribed to that, that'll give you alerts for whenever anything new is going up. And as we are going into a busy next few weeks there, you're definitely going to want to make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. So I am here tonight to discuss a new horror release that unfortunately it's not on too many screens there right now which is all the more reason I want to make sure it gets some attention because I want to make sure you guys get a chance to check this out. I am talking cobweb. Folks, I really, really wish this summer, summer of 2023 would just last forever. Not because of the weather, because the weather is terrible. I'm here in Colorado and we had a really nice June because there was so much rain so we didn't have to worry about the heat and uh, it's like the moment June ended oof, it's just burning. I know it's burning all over the country right now there but uh, no it's not the weather. Uh, again I want that fall rainy weather. Let's get to that sooner than later there uh, and it's not that I need more days off. I have a great job. I have a great career that I do um, and I run my own business as well too so I have the days off that I, that I need to get honestly. It's not that either. Um, it's that this has been a tremendous summer of horror. Folks, I've been doing this show for three years at this point now. And every year, you know, I, I've, got, like, I've looked at the releases that we've had over the summer. And of course, 2020 was a bit light because we had the, you know, we're all locked up at home. We had the pandemic at the time. There was COVID. So we weren't going to get anything much out of that. Then 2021 came and 2022 came and each year the stakes just kept being raised and raised and raised and 2023 has just been amazing with the wealth of releases that we've gotten and Cobweb is absolutely one of those that um, I'm loving the fact that we got here in the summer because you would think that a lot of these movies would choose to come out around Halloween or at least in October to say the least but Summertime reminds us all time and time again that there are plenty of horror movies that are coming out around this time, but unfortunately it's a shame that Cobweb's just not going to be on enough screens to get the attention that it deserves. Peter, played by Woody Norman, who you might know from The War of the Worlds or actually upcoming in The Last Voyage of the Demeter, is struggling in both parts of his life. He doesn't seem to have any friends or fit in at his school and back at home his parents played by Lizzie Kaplan who you might know from Fatal Attraction or Cloverfield and Anthony Starr who you might know from The Boys or American Gothic refuse to allow Peter to enjoy all the things that a kid his age would. And there's no TV, there's no video games and he can't even go trick or treating and there just may be someone or something lurking beneath the walls of his bedroom too. Peter, Peter's parents almost seem like a set of evil step parents sometimes throughout this film that do have a genuine love for him, but their outdated rules and their stern handling of Peter uh, are the stuff of nightmares. I mean, make no mistake, they, they show that they care for him like here and there at certain scenes across the film, but it's very, very much, uh, we are very much given the idea that uh, Peter doesn't really have much in the way of freedom here. That basically he is under strict rules here. He is supposed to do every single thing that is told to him. And if he doesn't, there will be severe consequences as we do get to see a couple of times throughout the film. And his new teacher at school, Miss Divine, played by Cleopatra Coleman, who you might know from Infinity Pool earlier this year, uh, is almost like a fairy godmother of sorts for him, looking for ways to help Peter while also subtly encouraging him 
to face these things that are scaring him in his life, uh, mirroring an incident with a spider earlier on in the film. And if you combine these things with the faint but creepy voice that's behind Peter's bedroom, walls that's pleading with him to escape his parents, you've got the recipe for a dark fairy tale playing out in the suburbs. Um, it almost reminds me a bit of the movie Running Scared. You might've seen that with Paul Walker, rest in peace, uh, and Vera Farmiga um, back in the early, early 2000s, which is basically kind of doing a, a play on like Hansel and Gretel and like a few other things, a really good film, but very, very, very much um, seeing a little bit of that here in Cobweb as well too. Now, writer Chris Thomas Devlin, who wrote last year's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, love that movie uh and director director samuel bowden who you might know from marianne so good sad they got canceled not 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 i don't think it was the best like a lot of people putting it out there but a really good show nevertheless we did do that in a watch party i think last year uh, here with the show back in our discord as well too um but they do a great job with this fairy tale uh, fairy tale story making us question the authentic uh, authenticity of peter's parents and the role that they play in his life um we know obviously again that his parents are very much involved in every single facet of this life that he's living. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's a terrible place to be because Peter's pretty much the light of his own household at that point. Um, and the thing is, is that it's like any joy that he's looking to make for himself is getting snatched up and it's put out almost like, like a candle that like has all this wind that's coming against like the flame and it's just struggling to stay lit. Um, Bowden continually lingers on shots of Kaplan and Starr uh, daring the audience just to stare closer and closer to find any sort of truth beyond like the words they're telling Peter and other characters here in the film. And while Cobweb doesn't really feature much in the way of jump scares, the setups are definitely there for it, for sure. Um, Anthony Starr uh absolutely brings that unease that we've all felt when watching his homelander in the boys and at any moment you actually think that he might just snap on anyone that's near him as he's not rocking an american flag or laser vision but uh yeah that should be pretty clear on how intense he's working in this film honestly um and he's definitely like let's not forget about lizzie kaplan at all who is just tremendous in this movie she's absolutely fantastic because she's switching between being this overbearing mother uh she's like this terrifying captor at times and she's a, a monster in her own right in this film and i think that lizzie kaplan and anthony Starr they just make this absolutely perfect pairing here for like the scariest parents of the year uh but with that though woody norman absolutely is the breakout of the film no question he is the star here and he spends most of his times uh most of the time here acting opposite adults and he routine routinely is able to hold his own here um no matter who he's standing against and even when peter is uh making you know makes this like huge 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 terrible mistake about halfway through the film it's still hard not to feel for him and like the choices that he's been forced to make through Throughout the entire film um i don't i don't think that woody norman's gonna get as much to do in august uh you know next month's last voyage of the demeter but damn he's working his butt off here in this one for sure that kid is gonna be going some places here uh over the course of his career for sure now with that said, well, you know, whether it's the script or the directing, Cobweb uh, definitely emulates a lot of other horror films in some specific way. I mean, the third act especially borrows quite a bit from Let the Right One In. And there's nothing wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with emulating horror and changing things up to fit your own picture. I mean, there's been a lot of chatter due to who's producing it that Cobweb is very similar to last year's Barbarian. But I think that poses a bigger problem for it as a whole. Really borrowed um, from I mean, Barbarian. Like, not to really um, spoil it. Is changing the expectations not, not of what kind of this. horror film um, it is. I, I think like, Barbarian did it, that in the first half of the film, where Cobweb saved it for, like, the last half. Like, the last... Honestly, last last act completed. Last 20 to 30 minutes of the film to do that. And it's unfortunate, because I really did enjoy... Uh, 
enjoy the majority of the movie. And once the gears do finally change and we start setting things in motion for like the final like act of the movie itself, I feel like it goes at a breakneck speed and it, it leaves it only being mildly satisfying, honestly. And now that I've said that, I am gonna hit you with a few like minor spoilers right here. So if you're looking to stay completely in the dark, y'all, this is the time to turn it off here right now. But I am gonna discuss some quick minor spoilers here with you. Now, if you saw The Boogeyman a couple of months ago, that'll give you an idea of what to expect when the movie finally heads to that final showdown. And I absolutely love The Boogeyman. I, it wasn't a big problem to me personally. I know there's a lot of people out there that weren't really feeling it, um, but, the thing was is that uh, it's not enough to mirror that because the boogeyman kind of cleaned things up and, and left everything neat in a bow at the end of it, whereas Cobweb really had this abrupt ending that left a lot of questions for me personally. And I felt like, man, it's like somebody took an additional five to 10 minutes out of here because they thought it was too long or something and i get it i think the film films just under two hours so it is a pretty it's a pretty long one for an r-rated you know non-franchise property that's a pretty long film to get but it still felt that we needed that so it felt a little bit more satisfying honestly like i wouldn't be shocked if when we do get the blu-ray and the 4k and all that there would not be shocked if there's some extra scenes that we're going to get after that honestly i really do think that's probably coming and Weirdly enough, I do feel, feel that this film has so much subtext, especially in regards to like the fairy tale thing, that audience, uh, adult audiences are going to eat this up a lot more than the teenagers who are going to get a chance to like rent and watch this for all their like sleepovers here and like the coming months, honestly. And I think the reason for that is because there's just not a lot of scares, unfortunately. Peter's situation is absolutely horrible, and there are definitely monsters that are conspiring against him. But the subtle dread of his environment is likely not going to do anything for the younger crowd that's checking it out. That's okay, because I, I feel that even though our lead character and our point of view is this young kid, I still feel that this is a film that's definitely geared more towards an adult audience. So, great characters with a strong cast, uh, an eerie environment that our lead resides in, and a mystery of what lurks behind the wall will be more than enough to appease the appetite of anyone looking for a dark but not heavy affair. Cobweb is available in theaters everywhere right now, but folks, it's not playing in a lot of screens. So you need to check it out while you can because chances are this guy is gonna be hitting, uh, hitting digital way quick. I would imagine within the next three weeks, we're gonna see this bad boy hit digital. So check out Cobweb right now in theaters. That's gonna do it for me though, folks. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm T, we've been talking scary movies. Stay scared. Boy here is a big fan of Fangoria. So if you want to check out the world's best horror magazine that's out there, get a chance to get yourself your own subscription, which I just got my first one back in 2022, and I don't regret it for a second. But if you want your own Fangoria subscription or you like the Fangoria merchandise, then head over to the Fangoria shop and use my link if you want to save yourself some money, folks. That's an easy one to remember. Just go to shop.fangoria.com slash A-X-D-E-W. Again, that's shop.fangoria.com slash A-X-D-E-W. Or use my specific code, A-X-D-E-W, at checkout. You can save 20% off your entire order, and that implies two a subscription and a one-time orders as well you don't want to miss out folks because with the magnitude of horror movies we've had released in the last few years and with what we have on the horizon Fangoria is going to be your number one source for all that great juicy bloody information in the world of horror so again head to shop.fangoria.com Hey there, folks. Thanks for tuning in to T-Watch This Scary Movie. I appreciate you checking out another review or movie news, whether we're talking movies, TV shows, books, or games, whatever. It's all scary. Remember, you can check out new episodes every Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on the YouTube page for video. That's youtube.com slash C slash Theron Reynolds Scary Movie. Again, 
youtube.com slash C slash Theron Reynolds Scary Movie. And you can check out the audio version on all your favorite podcasting platforms. Just search T Watch the Scary Movie or Twaza. Don't forget, my name is T. We've been talking scary movies. Stay scared.